screen like this. A vector is a quantity with magnitude and direction. I will use the scenario of a bed that flew from one tree to another when it had a gunshot. So the blue bed flew from the first tree to the second tree after hearing a gunshot. And there was a displacement from the first position to the second position and also it flew at a given velocity let's name the first position a and the final position b the displacement and the velocity of the bed is what we refer to as the vector quantities not the bed itself but the velocity and the displacement we have other vector quantities like the momentum and um, acceleration among others So, the distance that it traveled from here to this is what we refer to as the magnitude of the vector. Then also, it moves at a given direction. So, if you draw a cardinal point here, you can see that this angle is about, um, let's say, 80. So, let's say that the bed flew... Um, 4 kilometers and on a bearing of let's say 060 zero zero degrees so that is what we refer to as a vector it has a magnitude and a direction so how do we name vectors so we name vectors using the initial and the terminal point so using uppercase letters we name this vector vector a b and we put a direction on top vector a b is equal to this also we can use lowercase letters and we print them in bold but in writing we put tilde on or we underline it representation of vectors. We just talk about one way of representing vectors that is the magnitude bearing form. Then we have another way of representing a vector that is the component form. The component form is how far we move along the x and along the y in order to move from a to b so when a particle moves from a to b we have a vector a b we have a vector a b and we write it column wise so the s component is given by how far we move along the x axis so each box is one unit so we have one two three four we are here then so we move four units along the x then we have one two three so three units along the y in the positive direction this is the positive direction of the x axis and this is the positive direction of the y axis so a b is equal to four three so that is what we just talk about then also we have a movement from d to c that's one too. We have vector DC, vector DC. So the S component is how far we move along the X axis, which is 1, 2, 3. So 3 units, then 4 units up. 
So factor DC is equal to 3, 4. Then this time we are moving from B to A. So moving from B to A, we move we moved one, two, three, four units. Moving from B to A, we have vector BA. The order is very important. Vector BA. Then we have one, two, three, four, and this is a movement in the negative x direction. So negative four. Then we also have one, two, three in the negative y direction. Then finally we have vector CD, vector CD, we have a movement 1, 2, 3 in the negative x direction, then we have negative 4 in the y direction. That is 4 units in the negative y direction. Let's take one example. So we are writing AB and ED in the component form. So we move one unit. So vector AB, vector AB is equal to. 1 negative 5. I'll leave this for you as a trial. So write vector ED, vector ED in component form. If you do that, you should get an answer of um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9 in the positive x direction, the 1, 2, 3. 3 in the positive y direction.